Hello guys, it's WazzyTZK and today we're going to be playing some more Skur Ritual. This time we are playing the brand new map Tides of Terror, just in time for Halloween as well. Explore the wreckage and infected ruins on Skur Beach. Battle against the vengeful forces of the sea who seek to destroy the island. Exterminate the terrors lurking in the tides and end its revolution. So probably have some sea boss no doubt. Yeah, let's just go into it, see what all this is about. I'm going to play it on normal first, I don't know what the map's going to be like. Examine the old cannon. What the hell? This map actually looks... This map actually looks decent, you know, I'm not going to lie. Get up and go. Yeah, so that's the perk introduced in the... Um, the one that was introduced like a couple months ago, before this one, I can't remember. Oh, find a fuse and ammunition. Okay, so we actually have to fire it. Okay. We're having a look around, what we can see we got a switch again, so of course there's probably going to be some step with a switch. Ooh, hello. What the hell is this thing? I've never had this before. What is this? It's got a terrible sight on it, but... I have no idea what this is. Um, I've just... Oh, we've got Elixir of Life. Very good, very nice. Okay, there's not much space to walk, is there? Like, you can get stuck in this box easily. I can't jump as well for some reason, no. Yeah, no, you can't even jump over the box. You have to go, like, around the pillar. And, like, that pillar is very thin, so you can get stuck there easily. It's going to be annoying. Just get me out of here. Oh, hello, we're on the poop deck. Oh, a new perk here. We've actually got a new perk. Why is it telling me to upgrade to... Oh, wait, what? What? This is tier 2? No way is this gun tier 2. I didn't even... The guns from the box automatically come pack a punch now? What? There's no way that's actually a thing. I mean, I know Vanguard did that system, but it wasn't that good. But Oh my god, we're going to get surrounded here. I'd rather not die, like, immediately. Yeah, I was about to say, how am I taking down the Elite Maker so fast? And then I realised, of course, it's tier 2, isn't it? Yeah, like, that's probably how I managed to kill it before. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to some kind of cave now. I've actually forgotten about my um, abilities. Nope, get off. Get off. Get off. Oh, we can fire the cannon now. Good. Apart from nearly dying, we can now fire the cannon. What's this, then? There's another puzzle. Acquire the gold swords, the silver sword, and the bronze sword. Alright, yeah. Oh, well, no, what's this? Oh, hello, what's this guy? I mean, the hit detection's absolutely terrible on it, but, I mean, it's pretty cool. The hell? Is this like some kind of shotgun? Ah, look at that. Would you look at that? I actually found it. I think. I don't even know if this is going to work. Where is it? It's down here. Is this going to work now? Right, there you go. Alright, you actually got it this time. What's this guy going to do? Oh, is he going to go on the pressure plate for me? Ah, oh, nice one. So, what, is this the sword? Okay, we've got one sword. Um, shoot to open vents to clear the toxic gas. So, it's just this. Oh, here we go. Find a key. Um, what does this go to? Open the cell. Uh, oh, we've got another sword. Alright, that's not too bad. We actually got that quicker somehow. I think it was just because I was faffing around last time trying to find that crank, but... Oh, I see. Okay. So, ah. You have to shoot the base of it. That's why. Right. Oh, is that it? Really? What am I doing here, then? Flip the breakers. Oh, thank God for that. Right. Jesus. That's so annoying. Is it in here? Okay, right. It's in there. Okay. I thought it was like a big door or something you go through just to... Actually, like, go into, like, some boss or something. But it turns out it's just some cannonball thing. I think i actually got to try and get up here now. Oh, yeah. And if I find another, um, like, life token, I've... Got I've got to take some of that. Yeah, there you go. We just activated that. I've got to quickly run down the stairs if I don't get my arse handed to me. I don't know how many of these you can actually have, but I'm guessing maybe three or something. I don't know. 
Um, what's this? Ah, right, I actually got a little mini boss. Yeah, sit down. What's he actually dropped? He's dropped something. Open the door, right. What is this going to entail then? Some more boss fighting? Oh, so now we can open the door, can we? Oh, don't tell me we've got to find, like, a bunch of stuff. Um, what do I do with the swords then? Because I don't know the actual code. Really? I can't, how? Like, having a leap maker that constantly like, comes out, like, every five minutes doesn't help. I remember actually now, because I played um, House of the Damned on easy and I put this on normal. So I think that's probably why I'm having such a rough time with it. Because of course I don't know the map very well. And everything's just... Yeah, yeah. Like, the ships are so tiny. Like, you literally cannot run around at all without getting stuck and everything. I'm actually glad that's over, because that was an absolute pain in the arse. Yeah, first thoughts of the map, it's very tiny. I know some parts are actually quite buggy. I know when moving around inside the ship, like you literally cannot physically move around in the ship. Like you get stuck in a little box, you can't actually jump over it. And also some things I noticed as well aren't really polished properly. But yeah, don't get me wrong, like the atmosphere is really good in the map. Like I mean the layout is pretty cool. Like having it set across two ships is really interesting but yeah I think there's just a few buggy parts and also with the elite maker spawning in like literally every five minutes is annoying because then you have to keep basically going back to it I might actually attempt to do this again tomorrow actually but now that I now know what I'm doing with the map I can at least um, you know get through it a bit quicker but yeah, I do want to actually finish this map. Like, with every Skirt Ritual map that comes out, I want to try and finish the map. And I've basically spent, like, look, one hour, 44 minutes, and I am a bit exhausted, so I'm going to try again tomorrow. Right, so we are back on the Skirt Ritual. Uh, it's the next day. And um, I've actually found out these are actually the symbols which I need. So, if I just go into this cave, and the round of just despawns as usual... One thing I hate about Skirt Ritual, it just keeps restarting rounds, but yeah, basically, the symbols um, match these um, swords, and we need to get that, but first we need to defeat the boss, which is going to be really annoying. But yeah, I am using this gun instead of the Blunderbuss shotgun, just because it's... The, the shotgun's so weak, though. I need to buff it, like, a lot more. So yeah, I mean, I would use the new shotgun, but it's just so weak. There's literally no point even using it. Well, it's not bad, but it's just really weak. Oh, God. Oh, now off. No. And, of course, you get grappled by this idiot. We got... Okay, I memorised that one. Uh, that's for the bronze one. I just memorised the bronze one. I think the bronze is the bottom one, but I don't know. I can't even see. Uh, is it? Oh, hang on. I think I see it. There you go, right, finally. Alright, got it. Oh, hello, what's this? Oh, this is a boss. Yep, it is, it's a boss. Oh, great. Oh, great, we're really not prepared for this. I've only got tier one weapons as well. Oh, shit. Oh, the fuck. Jesus, it's chaotic. God damn. So, yeah, so we've got to avoid these circle things, I think. I don't know where the weak point is, where I'm supposed to shoot, but I'm doing some damage and trying to get away from the tentacle, of course. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, uh, I nearly got him halfway down anyway. Oh, shit. Alright, so I've just got back on um, to where I was. Well, sorry about the flash, it's actually the lightning, but it's glitched out, so it will flash white sometimes. So for some reason the lightning still goes off even when you're in the cave, but yeah, anyway, we're going to at least attempt this boss. And I've actually got this on tier 3 now, so it is a lot better. And yeah, we're I maybe mean, doing good, doing good numbers to him so far, but obviously it's going to get more difficult. And I did realise where I went wrong, I was actually supposed to... Um, avoid those bubbles. There was actually a little um, bit, little opening where I was supposed to go through, but because I died last time because I didn't see it. Yeah, I see the gap in there. We're going to take it. That's what I died to last time, was the gap. There you go, finally. All right. 
Right, we can actually finally get off this damn map. I know there is a secret objective you can do, but to be fair, I just want to leave this map. This has honestly caused me a giant fucking headache trying to get this done. Finally beat it, jeez. There you are, we did it. I know I did do it uneasy, you can grill me in the comments if you want, whatever, but... God damn, we finally did it. Jeez. I could take a screenshot on Steam just because... Get the record, you know what I mean? But, yeah, we finally did it in the end. That took an absurd amount of time. But, yeah. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see some more Skr content, check it out on the channel. I've got multiple videos. Keep up to date with the socials. Um, don't forget to join Discord if you're new. And, um, yeah, again, I'll see you in the next video.